Wow. Look at that. 20 minutes and now we're gonna flip it. Oh, smells so nice. Okay, you ready? Now this is the gun. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh! I'm gonna make horse from this one. Okay. Wow. So you got the horse, and then you ride it. You ride. It. Oh, 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 oh! Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sai. Here today, we are going to make dessert. Jackfruit dessert. Mm, what could it be? Jackfruit and sticky rice. You guys hear all the time mango and sticky rice, mango and sticky rice. But have you tried jackfruit and sticky rice? Jackfruit and sticky rice. Very good. So today we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna cut jackfruit open and let's see what we need to open up the jackfruit. This is how you need to open up your jackfruit. You need glove, knife, paper towel, and oil. You can get any oil that you had in your house that's the cheapest one. And if you plan on cutting this one inside your house, don't forget to lay down newspaper or like me, I use the banana leaf to lay on top of my tables so you don't rule your beautiful kitchen counter. Wear your glove. The glove is on. Now I need the olive oil. Wet your hand and knife with olive oil. You can use a lot of them. We're gonna cut kua. Kua is the top part of the jackfruit. See, they have this white glue. And, oh, sorry. And this thing are so sticky. So you apply your oil as you go. And don't forget to use the paper towel when it comes out. Are you ready? In a quarter. This one we call Gan Glang. Gan Glang is the center of the jackfruit, this white bit. So cut them off, cut all the white center off. Open it up. And then you're gonna see the jackfruit is up here. A little bit, um, sorry, we're gonna clean it later with the dirt. This one we call Yuang. Yuang, and this one we call Gasang. Gasang. I really like to eat Gasang because it's like so sweet and you don't need to get the seed inside. So, this is like the dark fruit, and you got another seed inside when you cut it open. You got more seed inside here. So, you're gonna clean it up. And then there you go, your jackfruit. A little bit dirty from the dust, but we go and rinse it anyway. Now it's like raining season, but she just want to have her baby right now. So it turned out we don't really have much jackfruit, as you can see. Normally it's going to be full, full, but she tastes amazing. So from this tree, she tastes so good. This much of the jackfruit comes to, <laughs> I think it's about 200 grams. There you go, your jackfruit. And now let's go make the sticky rice. doing 
right here so i want to use this banana leaf to put up on the table but i'm going to show you my toys how i make my toys when i was a little kid i'm gonna make horse from this one let me see and then you cut the ears in this bit the top one and broke it wow now I just find stick mm. there you go so you got the horse and then you ride it you ride the horse I'm gonna show you how to make the gun too. This is the small bit, this is the tail, and then this is the where you point the gun at. No, I think you po pointing the gun this way. But then this is the bigger part. Put it away from your body. And now you cut the the bullet. Oh, too close. Now we're gonna pull the trigger. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, this is so much fun. And here's the ingredient of coconut flavor sticky rice. You need sticky rice, sugar, salt, coconut cream, panda leaf, thin white cloth, and this bamboo steamer from Thailand. You can find it in Asian grocery. But if you don't have anything and you want to make this dessert, you can just pop it up in the microwave and you can just do that in a rice cooking maker. You just Google it and they show like everything, everything on the internet. By the way, I want to show you this coconut cream. I bought it from the fresh market. They grind it fresh and then they have the press to get that first coconut cream out. And then the second one, they will add the, a little bit of the water and then they put it back in the press again. The presser again and it become like coconut milk so if you don't have this you can just go buy the coconut cream in the uh, supermarket it's very easy convenience but I would like to try this one it's been a long time since I have the real coconut out from scratch the fire is ready so let's do the next step I put water into this pot around this much and then this is the bamboo steamer we call this one and then this is a thin white cloth soaking wet into the water I put this one underneath just like that and we add our rice Sticky rice in Thai language is khao niao. Khao niao. Alright, and then try to dig a hole. Just like that. Try to make a hole like that. Then flip the cloth inside. What the bamboo steamer does is to absorb the moist from the sticky rice so it won't be mushy and too overcooked. Ready? This is one kilo of sticky rice so we will cook 20 minutes each side so that will be 40 minutes or until the rice is cooked and it's so easy to check this. You just Put it in your mouth and chew it. If you don't chew it, any hard bit, crumbs, hard bit inside, that means it's all cooked. Oh my god, I'm a terrible chef. <laughs> Forgot to put this. <laughs> this is so important. So you put it in the water. This is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's steam. This nice smell aroma out had been 20 minutes and now we're gonna flip it. Actually it's ready. Mm. The underneath one though is ready. 
Okay, I think the rice is nearly ready. I think it needs about like five minutes more. So we're gonna make the coconut milk. So you need the coconut cream. I will link the measuring and the ingredient and everything under the description so you can go and check it out. The description. <laughs> anyway, just need sugar and a little bit of salt. Or what you could do is you just put this one on the stove and kind of like uh, cook them a little bit but not overcook just so they get like the little little bubble around the outside of the pot. Don't boil them. The reason um you're doing that, put it on the stove is to make the coconut last longer. But I think we're gonna finish this one tonight with my real soup. Alright, the sugar have dissolved. We're gonna put the sticky right in. Alright. Whoa, ready? You just stir them. Stir. Wow, it looks so clear and beautiful. So you need to stir them first to all the rice. You know, like it was crumb before. So you need to stir with the coconut water that we made to make sure like every rice got covered with that. I'm gonna add the panda leaf in here, but normally they steam with the rice, but I'm just gonna put it over in here. Alright, and now what you need to do is cover them. Cover the rice. Let me try. Mm. Don't tell anyone, but this is so good. Cover them and let it sit. Meanwhile, we're gonna make egg custard. Mm. And this is the ingredient for egg custard. You need plum sugar, egg, panda leaf, and coconut cream. Add some egg. Add three eggs. When I was a kid, this is what I like to make all the time. And plum sugar. the leaf a little bit of salt shake it up and then you use what the God gives you or what your mother and your father give to you this 10 finger wash it very clean and then squeeze it squeeze it like this Oh, the smell is already like so good. This is what I use to steam. It's just like lunch box, the metal lunch box, and then white cloth. Everything in. So you got like smooth egg custard. And then you try to scoop the little bubble out as much as you can, cover them up. Normally, you gotta steam them with like very, very low heat 
But with this, it's quite hard to control. I think it will be ready in like 10 minutes. While we wait for the egg pasta to cook, we're gonna flip the rice again, over again. Just stop it in. This duck food is nice and cold out from the fridge, so it'll be very refreshing. Let's check on our egg custard. It should be ready. A little bit of the sticky rice. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. I'm sorry guys, if there's a voice in the background, I try my best. I really try. Like you would not guess how many times I have to stop the video and re-record it again just because someone car so loud, someone come and sell stuff, people yelling, the dog barking, the dog hit the camera. But that's alright. You guys are worth it. Mm. 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 Yummy. I just want to feel my soul. Mm. Mm. It's going so well. Mm. Mm. Alright guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell button so you get the notification for the next video that I will be posing and if you have any things to say or wanna suggest me to cook all the different type of things just comment down below So, until next time, see you guys, bye bye, take care Hey, I'm broke and clean, Uncle Dean is a truck.